Joe Biden says he will get the vaccination publicly when it is his turn. And you know who else says that, Willie? The CEO of Pfizer, who doesn't want to, like, jump the line. It's kind of cool. Yeah, no, I think that's a good example to say. Let's talk more about this with the president and CEO of University Hospital in Newark, New Jersey, Dr. Sharif El Nahal. That hospital became the first in New Jersey yesterday to vaccinate health care workers. Doctor, it's great to see you this morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, tell us about that moment right there. That's my home state. It was a proud day for New Jersey, who has suffered so much over the last nine to 10 months. Tell us about the moment. It was such an emotional moment for us here at University Hospital. I remember back in the spring, we had over 300 patients in our hospital. Every bed essentially was filled. Uh, with a patient with COVID-19. And heroes like Maritza were walking into rooms every day, afraid that they were gonna get a deadly disease. They continued to save lives by doing CPR, chest compressions, getting close to patients with this disease. And what she said to everybody yesterday was that she no longer has to be afraid. And that is so inspiring. Mm -hmm. And it really marks the beginning of the last chapter of this pandemic. And also we need her to be the representative to the community when we try to make the case uh, in just a few weeks time to get the general population vaccinated, because these are the folks who are trusted in our community. As you said, that's Maritza Beniqua. She's an emergency room nurse who has been on the front lines. And that was just a great moment. You could see the tears in her eyes and her looking to the heavens to thank, for, hopefully, for the beginning of the end of this. As you say, communication in that example will be so important. There are many people in this country who are skeptical. Uh, what would you say to people considering the vaccine but not sure they want to get it so early on? Well, the first thing to understand is that there's a lot of understandable skepticism. This was a process that has, is unprecedented. Uh, we had people in labs working on this vaccine less than a year ago, and now we have it available to folks according to the prioritization over the next six months. And so explaining why the science was still appropriate and rigorous, if fast, but also uh, why the vaccines are working and what we need ultimately to get to a situation where at least 70, 80 percent of the population is vaccinated. One thing we have to make clear is that getting the vaccine does not excuse you from wearing a mask, socially distancing, avoiding indoor gatherings, all of the precautions we need until we reach that critical threshold of the population, which, again, is why, why trust is so important uh, to get folks mm -hmm. vaccinated. So a uh, question for you, doctor, about Moderna and their vaccine, which should be uh, should be in use within a week or so, depending on the approval process. So how do people, states, municipalities, companies know which one to use? How does that work? Well, uh, the vaccines are rolling out according to the order at which the CDC is evaluating them. Uh, and the FDA is issuing an emergency use authorization. And Pfizer happened to be first in line because they were the first to submit the results of the clinical trial. And so uh, every healthcare facility is administering vaccines as they get them. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine is going in particular to places that can do ultra cold storage, the negative 70 degrees Celsius storage. Our hospital has mm -hmm. to be one of them, which is probably one of the first to get it. But Moderna is gonna go to many more sites that don't have that capability and the rest will be allocated strategically across the country. There will be a point when folks can potentially make a choice, but right now we're just giving vaccines as we get them. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.